so it's happened. You've built yourself a nice little NAS using free NAS, and now you're like, oh no. I seems to have a red alert. What do we what do we have here? Well, we have one currently unreadable or pending sector. Now, for a lot of people out there, they would go ahead and just try to fix this drive in some way. For me, I'm pretty smart and I am I, I know a lot about this particular set of drives in FreeNAS, so I know that mine are really old. So today we're gonna go ahead and just replace the drive. So that's what this video is about. We're just gonna go ahead and try to replace a um a drive in a in a ZFS share or a ZFS volume rather. So um here we have our uh our, the NAS that's broken. Um this is FreeNAS 9.3. Um so how do we do this? Well it's actually relatively simple. We first will go over here to view volumes. You would think view disks, right? But no. View disks doesn't really let you do anything other than wipe the disks and edit the disks, and editing doesn't really do anything. So we go to view volumes, right? My volume looks a little derpy. Don't mind that. Um, it's my backup drive. It's gone through hell. So if we go to volume status, we can see our drive and our, our RAID RAID one here, RAID RAID Z one dash zero. This is a RAID five array. We have four one terabyte drives. So if we take a look at this, we see that uh, dev eighty a one is currently unreadable. So well, it's not currently unreadable. It's has one bad sector. Like I said, a lot of you might actually say, well, yeah, you probably don't need to replace the drive with one bad or pending sector, but honestly, these drives are really old. They have probably, oh, geez, they have, I think the last time I checked for, like, operational hours, we were talking somewhere in the neighborhood of almost eight years, and they're Hitachi Desk Stars, so, um, you know, let's replace the Death Stars, please. <laughs> so, we have ADA, ADA-1, it's currently the unreadable one. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and offline this drive like that, right? So we're going to wait. We're going to issue that. So now we have one offline drive, and you'll see it looks kind of like meh. So we have an alert now like, oh, no, we're degraded. Bad things are happening. Well, yeah. So next what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go ahead and power off my NAS like that and then uh, I'm gonna go down to my actual NAS and replace the drive and then uh, show you what that looks like on the back end. It's also worth noting before you shut down your NAS you should probably check which device <laughs> you actually need to replace. If you actually go to your and I'll show you in another one here I'll show you my other NAS. Um, if you go to your actual volume, or well, if you go to your actual disks, you can see which one is paired to which serial number. So then you can actually go down and look at your NAS and figure out which drive needs to be replaced. So I'm going to do that now, and I'll be back. So uh, here we are down at the actual NAS, this guy here. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop this thing open. I'm going to look at my serial number, which ends with JJH. I'm going to swap the drive with my uh, a good drive up here. Yeah. And then we'll uh, put it all back together and uh, go back up and replace the actual drive. So we've uh, we found the drive. We've swapped it out. I've, I'm sitting here looking at it. My uh, ADA1 serial number ending in JJH. So... Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually replace the drive in the system. So we've got, we, I've, I've booted up the NAS again. I'm going to go ahead and log through here. And then we'll go back to view disks. And uh, we see we have this guy now, my new drive, right? So uh, what we'll go ahead and do is go back. Oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we'll go to view volumes and uh, click on that icon load this bad boy up got this guy offline I'm gonna say replace this is gonna load for a second or two 
then we'll see we have uh, replace with ADA1, replace disk. And we'll wait a bit. <laughs> oh no. Following errors has occurred. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I, I probably need to wipe this disk first. So let's, uh, let's uh, go ahead and wipe this guy. We'll do a quick, quick wipe on this ADA one. Okay, so it's now wiped. Hopefully we can go back to view volumes now. Go back here to volume status. And I can go to this drive and say replace. And then we'll point out ADA1. And hopefully with any luck, it'll actually work this time. So I'll close this. Don't really need that. So hopefully with wiping the disk, that'll work. Um, I think that's what I needed to do. We'll see. Yeah, so disk replacement has been initiated, right? So that's what I thought. I think I had some sort of weird thing. Who knows? I always mess around with drives that I have, so... So now if we go back to view disks, we see that disk is ADA1. Um, what you can do too is go to reporting and go to disks. And now you can see that ADA1 is initiating a bunch of writes. And the rest of the drives are um, resilvering. So. Or well, the rest of the drives are facilitating the resilvering of this drive. So you can see we have huge writes, some reads across the board. And that pretty much is it. Uh, you want to sort of monitor this to make sure things aren't going horribly wrong um, until the drive's been re resilvered, I guess we call it. I guess what I call it. I don't know. That's probably what we, what we think. But um, So yeah, currently being resilvered. So the pool will continue to function in a degraded state. Like I said, you want to monitor this because obviously, especially if you're like me and you take big risks and you run RAID 5, you only have the one drive um, that's safe <laughs> to lose at a time. So, And I know that for a fact at least two of these others, specifically ADA1 and ADA3, um, or ADA0 rather, and ADA3 are uh, pretty old. So I hope you liked this. And uh, stick around for some more tutorials.